Hello friends. In this video lecture, we are dealing with Hutchinson's classification system. One of the famous phylogenetic and modern system of angiosperm classification of 20th century. Proposed by John Hutchinson, a British botanist associated with Royal Botanical Garden, Kew, England. John Hutchinson was born on 7th April 1884 in Northumberland. He grew up with plants as his father was gardener at Kew Botanical Garden. He received his horticultural training in Northumberland and Durham and was appointed as a student gardener in Kew Botanical Garden in 1904. He was very influenced by J.D. Hooker just after firstly met with him while working in the Kew Botanical Garden. He is very expert in taxonomy and he was a very fine artist. So because of him, his taxonomic and drawing skills were soon noticed and he has been appointed in Herbarium of Kew Botanical Garden in 1905. He has retired in 1948 from Kew Herbarium as a herbarium keeper but continued working on the phylogeny of flowering plants until his death on 2nd September 1972. He has received many prestigious awards and honors. He was awarded as a honorary uh, awarded honorary degree of LLD by University of St Andrews in 1934. Awarded which memorial medal in 1937. He has awarded the Victoria Medal in 1944 for outstanding contribution to horticulture. He was elected a fellow of the Royal Society FRS in 1947. He was also awarded the Linnaean Societies of London's prestigious Darwin Wallace Medal in 1958. He was elected Honorary Fellow of the Association for Tropical Biology and Conservation ATBC in 1965. He has also awarded a prestigious award Linnaean Gold Medal in 1968. In 1972, John was awarded by Order of the British Empire, a tribute to one who had devoted his entire life to British botany. Again, another important uh, honor to him is that the name of the genus has been given as Hutchinsonia on the honor of him. So these are uh, various awards and honors uh, to the John Hutchinson. Actually, he has illustrated most of his own work with his own drawings, which are mostly drawn from the living material. His profound knowledge of the floral structure of the phenorgams was probably greater than that of any other living botanist uh, present at that time. In addition to presenting his uh, system of classification for angiosperm, Hutchison has also published valuable work such as Flora of West Tropical Africa during 1927 to 1929, Common Wild Flowers in 1945, then British Flowering Plants in 1948, Genera of Flowering Plants during 1964 to 1967, and Evolution and Phylogeny of Flowering Plants in 1969. So these are certain valuable work he has published in the form of books. Actually, uh, this classification system, which is proposed by John Hutchinson, was based on Bessé's classification system. Originally, this classification was published in two volumes in the book, The Families of Flowering Plants. The volume first, Dicotyledons, uh, is mainly related with dicots plants, it is published uh, in 1926. Second volume was published in 1934 and mainly devoted to the monocotyledon. Actually, uh, whatever his classification system and uh, his books, they are continuously revised. So his system was revised periodically in several revisions. Second edition was appears in 1959 and the final classification system was appear in third edition of the book, The Families of Flowering Plants in 1973. Actually, uh, this uh, third edition was published after his death. 
Hutchinson's system was one of the most influential revision of taxonomy in the early 20th century. A key feature of his classification is that angiosperm were classified on the basis of habit of the plant, namely herbaceae and lignosi. So he considered two lines of evolution in his classification system on the basis of either wood is present or not in the uh, plants. He considered herbaceous plant, herbaceae, as phylogenetically more recent than that of the woody plants. Hutchinson is known for his 24 dictas or principles of the classification of flowering plants. The classification is mainly based on principles of phylogeny suggested by John Hutchinson in his volume 2 of the, uh, his book in, uh, which is published in 1969. So whatever the 24 uh, principles are there, we are now switch over to these 24 principles of his classification system because the entire classification is mainly based on these 24 principles. So the first principle is uh, related with evolution is both upward and downward direction. Second uh, deal with evolution does not necessarily involve all organs of a plant at a same time. Then evolution has generally been consistent. Then trees and uh, shrubs are more primitive than herbs in certain groups like in one family or one genus. Then the trees and shrubs are primitive than climbers. Perennials are older than biennials and from them annuals have been derived. Aquatic flowering plants are as a rule more recent than terrestrial plants and the same may be said for the epiphytes, saprophytes and parasites. Plants with collateral vascular bundles arranged in a cylinder are more primitive than with scatter bundles which are actually found in monocotyledons. Then spiral arrangement of a leaves is primitive than opposite and whorl arrangement. Simple leaves are primitive than compound leaves. Then bisexual flowers are primitive than unisexual flowers. Solitary flowers are more primitive than inflorescences. Philo, uh, spirally imbricate arrangement of a floral parts is primitive than whorl and volvate estivation. The next principle is many parted flowers that is polymerous condition is more primitive than definite numbers that is oligomerous condition. Then apetalous flowers are derived from petalous, petaliferous flowers. Then three petals that is polypetalous condition is more primitive than the gamopetalous condition. Then actinomorphic condition of a flower is more primitive than zygomorphic condition. Hypogyny is more primitive than epigyny and perigyny. Then apocarpus condition is more primitive than syncarpus condition. Then many carpels, that is multicarpillary condition, is primitive than few or one carpel. Endospermic seeds are primitive than that of the non-endospermic seeds. Indefinite number of stamens is primitive condition than definite number. Then separate stamens primitive than conate stamens. And the last principle, that is 24th principle, stated that simple fruits are more primitive than the aggregate fruits. So these are the various uh, 24 dictas or principles of phylogeny uh, which are given by uh, John Hutchinson. Then now we are switched over to the outline of this classification system. Actually angiosperm were considered here in this classification as a monophyletic in origin. Angiosperm were uh, originated from some hypothetical pro-angiosperm. So uh, Hutchinson uh, provide uh, hypothetical pro-angiosperm model for the origin of angiosperms. The classification system of Hutchinson deal with only with uh, the flowering plants. So actually this classification is mainly dealing with the flowering plants uh, included under phylum angiospermy as a distinct phylum from the gymnospermy. So whatever the classification studied here, uh, it is totally related with the phylum angiospermy. Such as Hutchinson divided phylum angiospermy into two subphylum, dicotyledony and monocotyledons on the basis of number of cotyledons present within the seeds. Dicotyledons were uh, considered here more primitive and placed before the monocotyledons. He, had, he has uh, also provided phylogram for his system which is important uh, for determination of phylogenetic relationship of the taxa. So uh, in his phylogram he has clearly showed that how the um, monocots they are uh, derived from uh, ranules. 
Initially, actually, uh, angiosperm were regarded to have evolved along two separate evolutionary lines. Herbaceae, which includes the predominantly herbaceous families derived from ranels, and the lignosi, includes fundamentally woody representatives derived from magnolia. So, he considered two lines of evolution, uh, where uh, herbaceae, which starts with, from the ranels, and lignosi, which actually derives from the magnolia. And the monocotyledons were considered to have derived from the ranels. So, ranels, ranelian group, uh, they are uh, continuing uh, going to the uh, monocotyledon. They develop into the monocot plants. So, monocots they are totally derived from the ranels, according to Hutchinson. Now, uh, when we are dealing with the classification of a dicotyledon, dicots were further divided into two divisions, lignosi and herbaceae. Lignosi which includes woody uh, plants and herbaceae includes herbaceous plant. So the lignosi includes woody representatives derived from the magnolias and herbaceae includes most of the predominantly herbaceous families derived from the ranels. The division lignosi was further divided into 54 orders beginning with magnolias and ending in a verbanels. Whereas the division herbaceae was divided into 28 orders beginning with ranels and ending in a uh, lamiels. So, um, when we are talking about the division of a di uh, dicots, here in this case, uh, lignosi was considered as a more primitive as compared to the herbaceae, and both uh, these lines they are runs parallelly. So, whatever the evolution is there, uh, that evolution is mainly uh, runs parallelly here uh, in two lines that is lignosi and herbaceae. The subphylum monocotyledons are divided into three divisions Caliciferi, Coroliferi, and Glumiflori on the basis of perianth character. So, the uh, division Caliciferi with distinct calyx and corolla was divided into 12 orders beginning with glutamyls and ending in gingivarels. Then, uh, second division Coroliferi. Uh, with calyx and corolla almost similar or where perianth is not differentiated into calyx and corolla all plants that are included in division coroliferi was divided into uh, 14 orders beginning with lineals and ending in a orchidals and the last division glumiflori where perianth is very reduced and represented by lodicules only was divided into three orders beginning with jenkels and ending in a graminals so, uh, in monocotyledons, uh, they consider three uh, different divisions uh, where glutamyls they are considered as the most primitive and graminyls uh, they are considered as the most advanced amongst the monocotyledon. So, in the latest system of Hutchinson, angiosperm consists of near about 111 orders and 411 families. So, out of which dicot uh, consists of 82 orders and 342 families and monocot consists of 29 orders and 69 families. So, uh, when we are talking about just general outline of this classification system, here you just observe dicot they place before the monocotyledon. So, uh, uh, here in this case, uh, in angiosperm, dicot they are uh, considered as more primitive uh, than that of the monocotyledon. Again in dicot, uh, they consider two lines of, uh, two lines uh, parallelly evolved lignosi and herbaceae. So, lignosi is considered as a more primitive than that of the herbaceae. Uh, the starting of a lignosi was with magnolias uh, and ending with verbanels. In herbaceae, uh, uh, starting with ranels and ending in lamiels. Likewise, in monocotyledon, they consider three lines uh, of evolution, which includes caliciferi, where uh, starting with glutamyls and ending with uh, gingivarels. Coroliferi starting with lineals, uh, ending with orchidals, and glumiflori where starting with jinkels and uh, ending in a graminal. So, uh, according to Hutchinson, they consider magnolials as a more primitive than the, uh, within the angiosperm, and graminals as uh, considered as a more advanced within the angiosperm. So, this is just about the outline of this classification system. Now, we are switching to the merit and demerit of this classification system. The first merit of this system is that the system is more phylogenetic and based on phylogenetic principles. It is followed widely throughout the world 
it has also provided a sound basis for later phylogenetic systems given by taxonomists like Tipo, Cronquist, and Taktajan. The treatment of magnolials and ranels as starting point in the evolutionary series of dicotyledons, which shows parallel evolution. That is also one of the important merit of this classification system. The ablation of groups like polypetaly, gamopetaly, monoclamidae of Bentham and Hooker, and archiclamidae, metaclamidae of Engler and Prantel. So that is also one of the important parameters of this system. Rearrangement of a taxa on the basis of combination of characters and do uh, and not one or few characters as in earlier system is more logical. So here in this case, whatever the groupings they are formed, they are mainly based on uh, combination of characters. Many characters they are used for the classification purpose. So that is one of the important merit of this system. Then many large unnatural families have been split into smaller natural one. For example, E4BSC of Bentham and Hooker is split into three uh, families like E4BSC, Racingesi, and um, Buxesi family. Then family Articesi is similarly split into Articesi, Moresi, Almesi, and Cannabinesi. Uh, then next uh, merit of this system is that many families have been uh, raised to the rank of orders. For example. Leguminosi family raised to the order leguminous. The derivation of monocotyledons from dicotyledons is widely agreed, and so the placement of monocot after dicot is more correct. So that is also one of the important merit of this system. Again, the placement of alice metals towards the beginning of monocotyledon find general acceptance. So in today's concept, also uh, alice metals they are considered as more primitive. Then a description uh, given for the families are very correct because he has observed um, each and every specimen and uh, draw drawings, uh, illustrations on his own and that's why whatever the description he has given it is very correct and authentic. Uh, again he has provided uh, identification keys uh, for the identification of families even keys to the identification of a genera have been provided. So. In this classification system, identification keys are for uh, families as well as gene genera are provided here. Phylograms for dicot and monocots are more superior to the Bessens cactus. So here actually in this classification system they provide phylogram actually uh, which is very much important for the phylogenetic classification. So whatever the phylogram they are uh, placed here, it is very much important than that of the Bessens cactus. The arrangement of families with within the monocotyledons is correct and generally appreciated. So these are certain merits of this classification system. Now we are switch over to the demerits of this classification system. The system is not useful for arrangement of plants in floras and, herbi and herbaria. So it is one of the important drawback of this classification system. No doubt the uh, system is more popular but actually it is not useful for the arrangement of plants in floras and herbaria. Again, it is also not useful for identification and even for the practical purpose as it does not proceed beyond the family level in majority of the taxa. So whatever the classification is uh, doing here is mainly uh, up to the family level. So uh, whatever the classification or identification or practical purpose, this classification is not very much important or useful. Then another demerit is that the division of dicotyledon into lignosi and herbaceae is strongly objectionable. As later studies uh, by Bailey, Sinot, and others shows that herbaceous habit derived from the woody habit and reverse has also occurred occasionally. So therefore, the two evolutionary lines cannot be considered distinct. So, but here in this case, uh, he has considered two distinct uh, evolutionary lines. And that's why this resulted in separation of closely related families like Araliaceae and Apiaceae. Similarly, Lamiaceae and Verbenaceae in Lignosi and Herbaceae uh, respectively. So that is one of the important drawback of this classification system. Then Hutchinson considered Magnoliaceae as most primitive family of living dicot. But most competitory author considered Vesselless Winteraceae or Paleoherbs to be the most primitive. So again, this is also one of the important drawback. Then uh, monocots are placed after dicot. Whereas in recent classification, monocots are placed between primitive angiosperms and the eudicots. So uh, the placement of monocot is also uh, somewhat wrong. Then 
family liliaceae of Hutchinson is a large unnatural assemblage which has been split into several smaller monophyletic families like liliaceae, aliaceae, asparagaceae, aspodilaceae. In recent classification which are given by Jared et al. Uh, in 2002, then APG classification second in 2003 and Thorns classification which is uh, in uh, 2003. Then another important drawback is that the family Calicanthesi is related to laurels but actually place uh, it in uh, roselles by Hutchinson. Then uh, Hutchinson did not provide full explanation for the majority of the uh, evolutionary concept which he has used in, in this classification system. So whatever the concepts are there, they are not uh, clear and he has not given full explanation and that's why this is also one of the important demerit of this classification system. Then, although he has uh, split several large unnatural families into natural units, in some cases he has even split some, nat um, some families which were already natural monophyletic groups. The family Ranunculaceae have been split into Ranunculaceae and Helleboraceae on the basis of Akins and uh, Polycal fruits respectively. But studies on floral anatomy have shown that evolutionary st stages in reduction of oil number can be seen in the genera of Helleboraceae and many genera of Ranunculaceae. Thus, the Ranunculaceae of Bentham and Hooker represents a monophyletic group and need not be split. So that is uh, why this is again one of the important demerit of this uh, classification system. Then uh, he derives angiosperm from proangiosperm. Actually, he has uh, put forth a proangiosperm model for the origin of angiosperms. But he does not provide information about the nature of his hypothetical ancestor group. So these are the various uh, demerits of this classification system. So friends, this is all about the Hutchinson's classification system. I hope I have cleared all the points related to this classification system. Thank you.